In this video, we're going to look at the player spawn points. These are individual assets that can be delivered as furniture items, so players can place the spawn points across their maps however they want to. In the last video, we looked at setting up the safe zone, which is like a lobby inside the map. That can really go anywhere inside the map, so long as it's not directly interfering with gameplay. The positioning of the spawn points themselves is far more strategically important than the positioning of the safe zone. In fact, you could do a region template with a fixed safe zone in it, but still let users position their spawn points. Or, of course, you can do it all for them depending on how much creative control you want to hand to your players. Here you can see I have a spawn point. It can be any object. There are references on the spawner for teams. We haven't finished building the team system yet, so ignore that for the moment. This one has particles you can trigger depending on whether the spawn point is for one team, another team, or available to both. The spawn point is configured to support all of those options because this parameter is exposed as a public variable in the furniture system, so the player can manually set each spawn point instead of needing three different types of inventory item. I'm just going to make mine a simple crate, so I have a visible item in the scene when I'm laying it out. I don't need any kind of fanfare going off when it's used in this case. So I'm dragging this into the parent object, removing all of the things I don't need. Now I want to fill out the virtual goods component and upload it. A user can lay out as many as they want, and the players will then spawn randomly at the different spawn points when they enter the battlefield. In the next video, we'll be looking at the weapons and the weapon-giving items.